So the last part I want to do is create some type of border. My border, I want to go all the way from 0 to 14 and all the way up to 8. So let's create some type of box first. So y equals 0, then x equals 0. That creates a two vertical and horizontal lines at the origin. And then we want 14. 14. And then I want a y equals at 8. So our y equals equations, I want to make that between 0 to 14. And then I can take that and copy and paste that over. And for the x equations, I want that between 0 and 8. Remember this one you're using y. So we have a box. Oops, I flip-flopped. That belongs here. And this belongs here. There we go. Now we have a box. I want to start connecting things. So let's connect from 2 to 8. So y equals negative 2. Actually, it's going to go down 8 over 2. So down 8 over 2. I can just play like this. If I wanted to simplify, I could make that negative 4 if I wanted. And then I'm going to move that over by two units. So I got that line. So that's between zero and two. And to make my life a lot easier, I'm just going to copy the equation and I'm just going to move it all the way over to 12. And, oops, move it over to 12. I need to get rid of this so I can see my equation. And I want to flip it. So that's going to be between 0 and, oops, not 0, between 12 and 14. Actually, let's keep it negative. It might look a little cooler that way. And if I do that, that means I have to move it up about 8 units. So that's how it's going to look. For the next line, I'm going to start from 0 and go all the way over to two, uh, 14, comma 2. So y equals... So 14, so it's down, to, sorry, up to over 14, so that's 2 fourteenths, or simplify that, that's going to be 1 seventh, x, and that's actually exactly what I want, from 0 all the way to 14. And finally, I want to keep the exact same thing, but I want to move it up. So I'm going to move it up 6 units. And there's my lovely little border. Now, you could use lines, you can use absolute values, you can use whatever you want as long as it's creative. If you just create the four boxes, four lines for the box, it's not that creative. Now, you can play with other equations such as sine. So if I put sine, oops, y equals sine of x, we're going to create this little wave. You can go on Google and search all these different types of new equations that you can create some borders with. Try whatever you'd like, create whatever border to make this really cool.